Pictures reveal what happens when things go wrong at dog rescues, when the person running them takes on more than they can handle and the very animals they're trying to save become the victims. Yeah, ABC Action News anchor Paul Legrone exposes the statewide blonde blind spot that's enabling animal neglect to fester in secret. Can you talk about these allegations? How about you straight? leave me alone? Even those who blew the whistle on Rose Romano are quick to point out she's a good person. What do you think is really going on here? This particular rescue in the, in the operation has just gotten overwhelmed. Animal Control says her heart for dogs and habit of taking them in is just too big for her St. Pete home, where last week the animal rescue she operates, Happy Hounds of Tampa Bay, made headlines for all the wrong reasons. We found a lot of unsanitary conditions in the home, um, which led to law enforcement being involved, as well as the animals being surrendered. Officers removed 28 dogs from Romano's home last Friday, a dozen more since January. Documents from Animal Services detail a troubled history and reveal Rose Romano has a statewide reputation for getting overwhelmed. Case records and emails obtained by ABC Action News show shelters from all over the state have been sounding the alarm about happy hounds and Romano for years, alleging that she neglected some of the dogs she took from their shelters and that the dogs became sick, emaciated, and in some cases died. A dozen dogs will be roaming the neighborhood. Neighbors say Romano's dogs routinely run loose. <laughs> Doug Brightwell is the director of Pinellas County Animal Services. He does not allow Romano to take dogs from his shelter because of her history. His agency has investigated Rose Romano's happy hounds three times in three years based on complaints from other counties. But he can't stop her from taking dogs from animal shelters across the state. The question is, why can't you just shut her down? We don't have the authority to shut down a nonprofit organization. Romano didn't answer the door, but she did answer our call. She strongly denies all allegations of neglect. When we tried to talk to her in person, she added this. I want to get my kids home. That's what I'm in the process of doing. Cleaning crates, selling them, getting the hell out of here. But the bigger picture is that in the state of Florida, there is no consistent oversight of animal rescues. It varies from county to county. In Pinellas County, they only inspect rescues that they work with. Other counties don't inspect rescues at all. And some rescues, like Happy Hounds, take in dogs from all over the state, meaning they would have to drive hundreds of miles to make sure the dogs are in good shape. This isn't the first time and it won't be the last. Veterinarian Dr. Christy Layton with Timberlane Pet Hospital in Plant City says the lack of oversight is leaving behind a vacuum of unanswered questions about the final fate of rescue dogs across the state. She says the only way to ensure the safety of the animals is to hold the rescues accountable. Someone to call all the rescues, require where these animals are going, what's happened to these animals, were they euthanized? What do you think the real takeaway here is? Unless we get some sort of um, requirements in place and some sort of oversight in place, this will continue to happen. Rose Romano told ABC Action News she is shutting down her animal rescue, saying it's no longer worth it. And tonight, the Happy Hounds website says it has no dogs available to adopt. For the I-Team, Paul Legrone, ABC Action News.